everyone, I'm Kristen Gerhardt and I'm so f stoked for Halloween. Ugh. Let's get into the news. First up, a trailer for new documentary Magician, The Astonishing Life and Work of Orson Welles has been released. The film isn't set to open till December 12th, but this gives you some time to catch up on your knowledge of Orson Welles and rewatch or get acquainted with his body of work. Orson Welles was a lifelong fan of magic and little known fact, he actually introduced David Copperfield's first television special in 1978. Naked magicians Charles Bach and Andrew Goldenhirsch performed for KTNV13 recently. Check out that YouTube clip. They're not naked in it. It's a very misleading title. Then, after you check out their video, grab tickets to see them live at the Tommy Wind Theater until Halloween. And then they're gone! Are they naked in the show? I feel like naked magicians, you have to be naked. And I want, that's, it's weird that I want to see that. It's probably weird. Magic Week is almost upon us, taking place the last seven days of October every year. Magic Week is about donating a magic performance to those who don't normally get to see a live magic show, people like in nursing homes and things of that nature. So definitely participate. This year, National President Ice McDonald announced a magic moment in time. Sounds lovely. Here are the details. Sunday, October 26th, at 7 p.m., all magicians who are participating are to perform a levitation effect of some kind. That's it. That's the, that's the magic moment. It'll happen all across the country, maybe even the world, and it will be spectacular. 7 p.m. Central. Central time. Head over to the SAM website for more details about the actual magic moment, as well as magic week in general. Rob Zabrecki recently held a seance for the cast of upcoming horror flick Ouija, which actually opens in theaters today. Go see it, Rob Zabrecki is incredible. I hope he draws on his face. You can read all about the seance at contactmusic.com and check out the seance on just Jared's YouTube channel. It's J squared. That's cute. All right, that's all for me this week. I don't know why that's so satisfying. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you on Halloween. I can't scary laugh. Bye guys. Hey, what's up guys? Andre Jake here. Welcome back to Expose. Halloween is fast approaching and we know that you need a scary effect to freak out all your friends. So guess what? The Wire has just a thing for you and it's aptly called Hellraiser 2 by Arno Renegado. Check it out. All right, so that was Arnel Renegado's Hellraiser 2, as you saw, super visual. And the cool thing is, is you don't have to draw that cross. You can draw whatever picture you'd like and modify that and immediately hand out that card for examination, which is awesome. So uh, yeah, no glue, no magnets, no strings, no sticky stuff, no sacrificing a chicken. I know you know what I mean. I know you do. And that's by Arnel Renegado, Hellraiser 2. Boom! Next up, we have an effect called Blink Link by Mark Morelli. Mark Morelli, not like Kaylin Morelli, like Momo Momorelli. This is Mama Momorelli. Never mind. It's also by Jabrizi, my man Jabrizi, or Jibri Taylor. Check it out. What's up, guys? This is Jabrizi. Me and Mark Morelli came up with an awesome linking band trick that you really got to check out. This is Blink Link. So as you saw, very, very clever effect, very visual. Uh, I love this premise and the gimmick is super clever, like very, very cool. And best of all, Jibri is very, very fun to watch, very entertaining. That's uh, Jabrizi's. And last but not least, we have Non-Toxic by Geraint Clark. Every time Geraint releases something new, I'm always out of words, so. The spectator opens a calculator on any phone. They type in a random sum and call the answer. The answer is always your telephone number. This trick can be done with an iPhone or an Android. With this, they can make as many mistakes as possible, they can clear it, they can start again, 
They can accidentally press divide. They can do it drunk. They can give it to a child. There's literally no way they can mess up this trick. All right, so that was Geraint Clark's non-toxic. It's actually his variation of the classic toxic effect, which utilizes a calculator. And since all of our phones have the calculator app, it's cool because you can borrow someone else's phone, get their calculator, and force a number on them through the calculator app. It has advantages over the original toxic method, which by the way, Geraint teaches in the video, which is awesome. He teaches the classic method, and it has advances over the classic method, like being able to show it to drunk people, and this effect is not gonna go wrong. You will always perform it 100% of the time without messing up, so that is great. And you get to keep someone's phone number, and I'm sure you guys can think of plenty of uses for that. Go check it out on the wire and go download it. So a few exposés ago, I promised you guys I would show you the original video that sparked the cookie manipulation foodistry video, basically. And uh, as promised, here it is. I hope you enjoy it. So next Friday, Theory 11 will be hosting the Halloween event at the Nomad Hotel in New York City, which is awesome. But unfortunately, all the tickets are sold out. But we're excited to announce that this year, Blake Voigt, Dan White, Vinny DePonto, Cardone, and Ryan Oaks will be performing. So last week, JB asked you guys, what is your favorite Will Smith movie or TV show or series? And of course, we have two winners, one from YouTube, from Taylor Nickel. <laughs> Nickel. What's a, what's a concert that costs 45 cents? 50 cent featuring Nickelback. All right, he says Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which is awesome, just because who didn't grow up with that show? And from the media section, we have Alvin Herp, who says Men in Black 3, which is one of my favorite movies. How awesome is that? Um, let's face it, how many movies beyond like two can say that they're good? Men in Black 3. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Also, my nickname while we go uh, go-karting uh, with JB and Wayne Houchin may or may not be Boris the animal. I think that's why I win. So anyway, congrats you guys. Please contact customer support and claim your awesome prizes, the white gold monarchs. Speaking of the white goldies, we plan to do release windows like that in the future, like we did last Friday and they were great. Our servers held strong, so stay tuned to Expose and we will release all the details and dates on that in the future. In the meantime though, we'd love to see your pictures, post them to Instagram and hashtag us at Theory11 of all of your white gold monarchs that you have received thus far. So for this week's comment contest, tell us what you guys would like to see us dress up in for next week's Halloween expose. It could be anything. And the winners will, of course, receive the White Gold Monarch deck, the rarest of the rare. Just kidding, they're not the rarest, but they're pretty damn rare. Comment in the section below and in the media section to increase your chances of winning. But please, please, no Dumb and Dumber suggestions. We already did that. Seriously. <laughs>